So, you want to live full time in an RV or a van, but you can't figure out how to make a living from the road. Or maybe you just need to make a little extra income right now or pay off some debt. This is where tiny online jobs can help fuel your life. And today I'm going to tell you how. Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV. I hope you're all doing well out there. The most common question I get about full-time RV life is how we make a living on the road. Well, as you guys know, I've made a living from the road for quite a while. I've written a couple of books about it, and remote work and all of those opportunities were on the rise even before COVID-19. But since COVID-19, the opportunities are exploding. And we have this idea that financial safety is tied to a traditional location-based job. But I think lately we've all learned that that may not be the case. I'm talking about things like micro tasks and gig work and side hustles and contract jobs. They are everywhere for all kinds of different people. Sure, tiny jobs don't pay a lot, but you can use them to build an income. The time that you put into them is completely up to you. So you can do a little job here and there just to earn some gas money or to make sure your budget's not as tight one month. Or you can take these same jobs that I'm going to tell you about and actually build them up so you can make a steady income from them. It's totally up to you. And think about this. If you're watching this video because you do want to live on the road, doing that costs a lot less than it does to live in a traditional house. For me, my last rent payment before I hit the road was $2,200 a month. I lived in some expensive cities, but that was a big part of my budget. It took me some work to figure out that I could actually live on $1,300 a month if I lived in an RV. And because of that, I could write full time instead of just doing it on the weekends. Now, personally, I work a lot. You don't have to. It's completely individual. There are so many opportunities out there that you can choose. So I'm going to get into the five different opportunities that are great for people online so you can make money right now. All of the information I'm sharing with you today comes from my book, Work From Home While You Roam, The Ultimate Guide to Jobs That Can Be Done From Anywhere. There is a link for the full book down below. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that the book is normally $9.99, but this week it's $2.99 because I know a lot of people out there have lost their jobs and they can't afford the $10. So I literally have lowered it to the lowest price that is possible on Amazon, which is $2.99 the sale runs through Sunday. So if you get what you need from this stuff, great. But if you need more or you have friends or family that do, please go down to Amazon and check it out. I'm gonna start small and work my way up. The first thing I'm going to tell you about is micro tasks. Now, this may have been something you've heard about. You may have heard about the app economy or crowdsourcing, something like that. These are all similar things. I'm gonna give you a few actual opportunities that you can take advantage of in this realm, but really quick, don't jump all over me that these jobs don't pay a lot. They don't. Micro tasks only take a little tiny bit of time to complete. And so they pay a little bit of money. A lot of these things pay five, 10, 25, $50. You can go into your email every day and find a micro task opportunity and make that money and they'll put the payment right into PayPal for you. Or you can set up a system where you do five different micro tasks a day and you go in every day and do it while you're watching TV and you earn an income from that. It's all up to you. So a micro task is a tiny little task. Usually it's part of a big project that a company cuts into little tiny pieces because it's very monotonous. Have you heard of the word crowdsourcing? That is the same thing. So let's say there is a giant bunch of data that needs to be tagged. Like think about how many photos are online that don't have a tag. They actually need a person to go through and tag the photos. This is something called a hit or human intelligence tasks. This is not something a computer can do. But you know, of course, if you're going through photos all day and saying dog is in this photo, chair, it's not gonna pay a lot, right? Another cool hit micro task might be doing some web testing. There are all kinds of places out there that will pay you, let's say 25 bucks to literally activate your microphone and your camera on your tablet or your phone and go into a website. 
So they actually record you while you go through the app or the website to see how your eyes move and to see what information you're attracted to so that the programmers can improve the site. Other micro tasks include taking surveys or categorizing data or proofreading. There are a bunch of companies that do this. In the book, I have the links to actually apply, but I'll tell you right now, three of the most common ones are Mechanical Turk and crowdsourcing and user testing. Okay, moving up a notch, the second small online job I want to tell you about is freelance opportunities for professionals. Now, if you've had any kind of professional experience in your life, there's a good chance you can take that and make money online. So whether you were an accountant or a plumber, there are jobs out there for you. Think about if you have any customer service skills. You can answer the phones, you can answer emails, you can post on social media. You're an expert in some kind of a field where you can answer questions, or you have a skill that will help a business out online. Think about how many businesses right now need to have things done and they cannot train somebody in person. Hiring outside contractors to do different business processes has been on the rise for a few years, but now the opportunities are just exploding, especially for people like virtual assistants. Now, you can absolutely find a full-time job or a steady, regular hour part-time job doing this kind of work. But for our purposes today, I'm gonna to tell you about tasks for professionals. For example, there's a company called Just Answer. They have a bunch of subscribers that can go into their website and ask questions about anything, anytime, like how do I dump my RV black tank, for example. You can become an expert and then you get paid anytime you answer a question that one of the subscribers asks online. If you want to be an expert for Just Answer, you actually have to submit your experience and credentials and then a board looks at it. Once you're approved, you can start answering. They don't give any specific information on how much they pay, but they say that their top professionals earn upwards of $1,000 a month just answering questions. Another company that does task work for professionals is Fancy Hands. Fancy Hands offers freelance, on-the-fly assistance for all kinds of people. It could be for a business or it could be for a person. These assistants will handle travel itineraries or answering emails or doing product returns. Pay varies on the task, but for each task, you'll get somewhere between three and seven dollars and it goes up from there. They pay weekly online. Professionals can also find task work through people per hour. So this is kind of a cool idea. You have some kind of an expertise and you put out a profile on their platform. People can hire you in a variety of different categories. So let's say SEO. Every business right now needs somebody to go in and post on social media for them. A lot of business owners don't have the time to do that or they don't know how. That is a really common task. Other popular categories are editing, proofreading, graphic design, IT, writing blog posts, answering emails. You're not a traditional employee with any of these jobs. You're a contract worker, which means you do one job and then the contract is over. Each contractor with people per hour chooses what they charge for what they offer. And it's free for you to join and set up a profile. You choose how much to charge and then people per hour takes a portion of what you earn from 3.5 to 20%. That's how they pay for their platform. Now, a lot of you out there that have good typing skills might want to do some typing or do some transcription for extra money. There is task work for that also, but if you really want to get into it and earn a steady income, we have a whole chapter on it in the book, including what equipment you need, what each company pays with links to apply and how not to get scammed. The third opportunity for nomads or anybody else that has a car is driving. And I'm not just talking about DoorDash and Uber. Right now, there is a ton of opportunity out there all over the country for people that want to drive. Think about all of the companies right now that need to deliver their products because of quarantining. Amazon, for example, doesn't just deliver their products in those Amazon vans. They hire regular people in different areas to go down to their warehouse and pick up boxes and deliver them in their own cars. There are several other companies that do similar things for businesses or just for people, like Citizen Shipper and Shipped and Roadie. So let's say somebody buys a painting in Alabama and they need it to be sent to Washington. They can hire somebody who's on their way, like people that live in an RV and are going that way anyway, 
to deliver that product and the pay is actually pretty good. Besides delivery jobs, there's also opportunity out there for pilot car drivers. Yes, these are task jobs where you go into a database once you're approved and find a pilot car job in your area. There's also delivering RVs. For my audience out there, most of you already know how to drive something with a trailer or you know how to drive an all-in-one like a Class C or a Class B. Sales of RVs are exploding right now. The last time I checked, they've gone up 30% since the pandemic began. So there is a big demand for this. We have a whole chapter in the book dedicated to actual transport jobs with the links to apply. There are different ones all over the country. So you can go ahead and search on your own, but a lot of them hire only drive-away drivers, which means an all-in-one, or tow-away drivers, which means you have to supply your own truck. You can choose what kind of rigs you drive and when to work, but typically you go into a database and you can choose the job. They might pay you half of the delivery up front in cash, and then you have to pay for the gas out of that. And then when you deliver it, you get the other half. Some people bring a car to drive back that they tow on the back, and some people fly home. The next online tiny job I want to tell you about is being a photographer. Now there's all kinds of opportunity out there for artists across the board. But let's say you're a great photographer, like I know a lot of you are. Did you know that you can actually sell those photographs on several marketplaces, including FOPE and Shutterstock? Now, I'm sure a lot of you think you upload the photo, there's too much competition, you make a buck, and you go away. Here's what I want you to know about these platforms. They don't just want pictures of landscapes. A lot of people do that because they are out in nature and they take these beautiful photographs. But think about what companies need. Right now, for companies to be successful, they need to have an online presence, social media, a website, maybe a blog. For all of that, they need content, which includes blog posts and images. So if you're a photographer or an artist or an illustrator, you can sell this stuff to a lot of online places. FOPE and Shutterstock are two examples I'm going to tell you about now. FOPE sells photographs to businesses in its marketplace and they pay a flat fee. It goes up to $10 a piece. But in addition to that, they will have competitions where they ask photographers to take photos of things that they need. They call this a mission, and the missions pay $100 to $500 in rewards if you submit photographs that they like. Think about things like a coffee cup, a pencil, um, an old lady on a bench, something like that. Shutterstock is the other big one. Now, Shutterstock does not pay a lot for a photo, but did you know that you get more money the more photographs you submit and the more photographs that are downloaded? For example, according to Shutterstock, new freelance photographers might make $1.88 if somebody downloads one of their images, but once that photographer makes over $500 from their photographs, that rate per photo goes up to $2.48 because there's a lot of amateur photographers out there that are trying to go into Shutterstock and they want people that are going to be consistent and professional. So with Shutterstock, the name of the game is volume. And let's say you're going to do a picture of like a coffee cup and a pencil. You want to make it vertical, horizontal, square, black and white, bright. You want to present it in all kinds of different ways so that one photograph becomes five photographs and you can sell more and catch the eye of people that need that for their content. Okay, the final opportunity I want to tell you about is being a task freelancer. Now, this is such a broad category that I can't even name all the places that hire people to do things. One well-known website for freelancers is Fiverr, for example, which you may have heard of. Fiverr started because their freelancers would offer to do tiny gigs for $5. Now, if you go into Fiverr, and you look around, you'll be amazed. You can write love letters for $5. You can edit people's resumes for $5. You can do a caricature. There are all kinds of things you can do. And of course, people say their gigs start out at $5, but then for what people really want, it goes up from there. But here's what I want you to think about. You might be able to take one of those freelance gigs or several freelance gigs and turn it into a full-time income producing job. When a business hires a freelancer, they don't have infrastructure costs, training costs, HR costs. So again, that's where a lot of them are going. Think about what kind of skills you have. 
Are you a, a dog walker, a tutor, a web designer, a writer, customer service agent? What is it that you can do that any kind of a business might need on a task basis right now? Of course, when you get into the freelance hustle, it takes a little work to build up that income. You want to start small and you want to charge a reasonable rate because the secret to the game for freelancers is that they have a good profile on these sites. You want to have a good image and you want to have good customer reviews with comments. So you can start out small. You can offer services that are really in demand and build it up from there. And before you think freelancers don't make any money, they do. 72% of freelancers say that they make the amount of money that they want. 92% say that it's just going to increase. 66% say they earn more as a freelancer than they did in their traditional job. And of the highest paid freelancers, 81% of them say it took a year or less to build up to that level of income. If you want to be a professional freelancer or any of these other task jobs, you have to realize that taxes are not taken out. They will generally pay you through PayPal or some other online payment platform or through direct deposits. This is not tax advice, but if you look it up, it might say that if you earn more than $600 a year at any of these things combined, you have to go ahead and pay taxes. So you need to plan for that. And I'm sure somebody will say in the comments that there are scams out there. Yeah, there are. We have a whole chapter about it in the book telling you how to go ahead and vet opportunities and also to report scams if you find them. But here's the thing, never pay for work and don't pay for a list and don't pay for a website. So maybe you sign up and you do a survey once a week for 15 bucks and that pays for your gas money. Let's say that you want to take this kind of tiny task work and build it into something more consistent or you want to just have a part-time or a full-time job. There are opportunities online for all of that. The good news is that we have the freedom to choose. I hope that this video got your wheels turning and makes you jump online and see what's actually out there. You can literally go from this video to one of the places that I mentioned and start making money right now. Again, if you need more resources than this or you need the links to apply or information on qualifications for these jobs and how they pay and all that stuff, it's all in the book, Work From Home While You Roam. It's $2.99 until this Sunday. I hope this information helps you guys and that I see you out on the road soon or just following your dreams. Until then, everybody have happy travels and be free.